guys it's here part two of the fastest moped so what did we promise my father when are we gonna finish it moped all the moped but just what i don't know just what i don't know in multi predel all the motor six months later quite a long time let's say like that that happens when you forget that you're a professional athlete and you need to travel around the world making shows practice build your own bikes yeah time flies what you gonna do okay let's get to work Here are all the parts that we need. Yeah, but wait, I'm missing some. What? Where, where is the engine, man? You have it here oh, or what? Uh, it's it's in, in it's in my car. Okay, so let's get to work. Here were what we really did. Uh, we rebuilt the whole engine. We have a new uh, cylinder. It's a 65 cc uh, air cell. Uh, I matched the crankcase and the cylinder, so the ports match perfectly. Uh, we have all new uh, seals, uh, new bearings, and uh, new oil. So. I We need to hurry up, man. My father is coming in one hour. Do you think we can do it? We still need to do the test, the top speed test, if everything is working. So, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go, man. Tomasz, why are you removing the paint from here, from the seat holder? It doesn't fit the seat. Because we, we powder coated the whole uh, moped. I changed the plan, the red color we sanded it in the first part, but then I changed the plan. I wanted to sandblast the whole moped to remove all the old paint. And we did it. And then I changed the plan for the color. I wanted to have the old school racing style, like the Jaguar with the gold rims and uh, dark green color. So we did the racing version of the moped. And now we need somewhere to remove always the, the paint. Rob, where's the new seat? We need to fix the old one because the new one is still being made. So we use what we have now. So it's gonna be updated after the vlog, but it's a nice cafe racer, black leather seat. I love that exhaust, it was super cheap. How much? Like 60 euros? Uh, very cheap and looks amazing, man. It's otherwise are from the side, but this one is under the engine so looks a bit different and makes a totally new style on the bike freestyle packs my father gonna do some wheels last finishing touch to cover up the engine dude 
I think it looks better without this. It's more racing. More racing, but we still need to think it's not for me, it's for my father. See, he's a little bit more old school. He said he wants to have an original bike. So at least we're gonna look it like it's original. Uh, so it's gonna be like a sleeper. The tuner know what means a sleeper. It looks like an old car or bike, but it's fast like a rocket. Okay, Dominic, last detail. That's the sticker we're gonna put on the tank. Thomas Zoki, that's how we call my father, Zoki Edition by Moto Garage. So it needs to have some more style. Okay, time for the first start. Because like 80% or let's say more than more 90% 99% this is your job uh, I just bring the bike to, to paint and so on and I was just traveling and making shows so in this time Tomash did it so it's your turn now to my first honor. my honor for the first exactly so it's your turn to make it I say first kick first kick okay it's but you start. wanna bet okay we bet for a beer first kick he he wins a beer okay if not I win a beer he did a trick, I think a start and spray. overview what we did to that moped before we break it in the magura handlebar with magura holders cnc machined duke levers and it's front brake and rear brake all everything is on the handlebar uh, no need for clutch because it's automatic engine we have the airsol 65 cc air cooled cylinder 16 millimeter delorto carburetor new exhaust and then we added new shocks new tires uh, new brakes and that's basically it, that's not a lot on that bike, but it took us also so long because everything was so rusty and also inside of that tank was a lot of rust. We clean it, we refurbish it and we seal it so it's not rusting again. And this moped should hold for another 40 years now. And okay, that's a quick overview. My father is already waiting for that moped and he's asking where is it? So it's time to break it in and we have around 30 minutes and then my father is coming to the garage so we need to be quick. Let's see how fast it is, how fast it accelerates. We will not go full throttle because the engine is brand new so we need to go step by step. Uh, so as I say we're gonna just break it in and see how it's working. Show me the speed. Let's see. That was the first 22. time. First <laughs> time we had full throttle, but we don't want to risk it for too long. The engine is still brand brand new. So what does it say? Six I would say six. Point six. Six, six, point six. Not so bad, man. What you have a feeling it could be like seventy? Yeah, easily I think. Easy. So seventy, seventy-five. But different gear ratio. D different different gear ratio. Man, not bad. The, the moped, as I remember when I was little, was maximum 35, 40 ish, something like this. So, if we change the gear ratio, we double the speed, man. That's not bad, man. Not bad for that old it's moped. Not, it's not the fastest. Stop, it's not the fastest. Okay, the fastest. Guys. fastest is like 200 something. I checked on uh, Google. So, that's for me, it feels like the fastest moped on the planet, but <laughs> it isn't. So, okay, let's pack the bike. Let's wrap it, so my father is coming now to my garage, so let's hide it from him and let's surprise him with a brand new moped.
father just saying that so the first moped that he had was actually green color so it's same color as this one I didn't know that so it was a good decision <laughs> Double thumbs up. You say double. <laughs> because if you have a real bike on the street, you need to have a real cool helmet. It was so worth it to take those this extra time and build a bike for my father thanks to Tomasz that he helped me out when I was traveling to finishing up this project. I promised you two weeks but it was eventually six months and it was also a learning stage for me how to make a build off of an old uh, restored bike and uh, yeah so guys never forget about the people that surround you that means to, the most to you. I know the life is fast stressful and you need to work and so on but don't forget about those people take a time for them and help them out and i did it now for myself and it means a lot i mean i cannot describe the feeling that i have right now in myself and yeah i hope my father gonna enjoy the moped and that we're gonna have more of those rides together in the future and i hope you like the build off we tuned the bike it's not the fastest moped on the planet but it's pretty damn fast See you in the next vlog, see you next week, thanks for watching, rock on!